Hey everyone, thank you guys for checking out today's Canva video tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about how to use prominent font in Canva. So let's get started. Well, if you want to make your text prominent, emphasized, there's actually a lot of things you can do. For it to be exact, first you can change your font to a prominent font. Next is to turn your text into bold. Next is to resize your text. And lastly, you can add text effects to your texts. So let's talk about them one by one. First, let's add a text that we can work on. So in this case, I'm going to press T on my keyboard. And if you like, you can also go to the text template over here. Um, you can add a text box by pressing this add a text box button. Or you can look for text templates right over here. Okay, so we're going to try to create a design where we can or where we have to create a prominent font. So I'm going to say payday. I'm going to duplicate this one and say sale. Perhaps we can add an exclamation mark. Okay. And I'm just going to change my background first. So something like that would be okay. And I'm going to align it to the middle. And you can actually change your font by going to the font bar right over here. You can scroll down. Or if you're looking for certain styles, you can click on the search bar and these presets will appear. So you have fonts for handwriting, corporate, display, and so on and so forth. If you're looking for a prominent font, then display would be a good option. So here we have different types of font that you can choose from. And you can also even resize your font, or mean text, according to how big you'd like it to be. You can resize by adjusting these buttons on the corner, or you can input specific values here. And depending on the font that you chose, you can actually turn it to bold. But in this case, I don't think we have that option. So yeah. And lastly, you can go to the effects button and find some effects that you think would look nice on your um, text. If you like, you can actually even curve your text and you can adjust its curve by adjusting the slider over here. Um, in my case, I don't want to put any curve to it. And perhaps splice would be nice. I'm just going to adjust the thickness. And perhaps we're going to change the, um, the offset. You can also change the direction if you want to. And then go to this button here to change the color of your text. Perhaps I'd like to choose black and for the text color, white. Mm, or maybe I should just choose plain. And then for the word sale, I'd like it to be big. And I'd like to go to effects to see if it would look good. How about we add an orange to it? And perhaps we can adjust the thickness and the offset and the direction. And we can also 
make it bigger, just like that. And for the word payday, I'd like it to, I'd like to adjust its letter spacing. So I'm just gonna close the effects panel first. I'm gonna zoom out and go to spacing. And I'm gonna adjust the spacing just like that. I'm gonna zoom in. I want to make sure that this is aligned over here. So perhaps I'm gonna add a guideline. So I'm gonna right click over an empty area on my design page and go to We don't have the option to add a guideline here. So maybe I'm going to go to the file button, go to view settings and click on add guides, custom to add guides. And I'm going to unlock the guides and place it over here. I want to place my guide at the very edge of our letter P. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Like that. Okay, now we've got our guide. So it's time for us to adjust these elements according to our guide. And there we go. I'm just going to select both of them and make sure they're properly aligned in the middle. There. I'm going to right click again and go to guides and clear guides. Okay. And basically, that's how you create a prominent font in Canva. Well, I think our design is looking a bit sad, so I'm just going to add a few design elements that we can use. And what if I add a circle? Turn it to white. I'm going to group these two together so that they stay together. Um, I'm going to send this to the back. And I'm going to choose a nice looking shopping cart over here. Okay, how about this one? And then we can add a shopping cart behind it. Like this. I'm just going to flip it. And send this one behind. Okay, unfortunately, I can't really find a nice shopping cart. So maybe I'll just turn this into a bigger one, just like that. And perhaps we can add some confetti to our background here to spice it up a bit. Mm, not that one. Let's try another one. Oh, that would have been nice, but unfortunately, we don't have a Canva subscription at the moment. So we're going to look for something else. Okay, how about this? So I'm just going to send it to the back. And do something like that. Okay, I guess that should be it. So there you go. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Canva tutorial videos in the future. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you in the next video and you have a great day.